And we are ready to start Old World Blues, which is one of my favorite DLCs ever made in any game. I love this. I haven't, uh, I haven't got the any game audio. Hold on. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let's start it. The crashed satellite seems to be the source of the strange transmission you received. Old World Blues is recommended for experienced couriers, level 15 plus. Yep, I can do that. You have a premonition that while you'll be unable to return to the Mojave... Yeah. You have a premonition that while you'll be unable to return to the Mojave until you solve the mysteries of the Big Empty, you will be able to take anything you can carry with you, and you will be able to return to the Big Empty any time after completing Old World Blues. If you're up to the challenge, and you have all you want to carry with you, Examine the satellite a little closer. The atomic wonders of science await. Take a closer look at the satellite. I haven't done this in a very long time, but I love this DLC so much. Alright, I'm also not going to be talking as much this stream because there's a lot of dialogue in this game that I really want to listen to. In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space-age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle research, autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. Big Mountain! The nucleus of this research was the dome. Oh, the dome. A huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. Every single one. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. Think tank was so cool. The Great War brought a new energy to hey, Big Mountain like and its thing. scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution, winning the war. For years, the minds and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. All right. You feel strangely heavier. A quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your head, chest, and back. I'm just gonna stop the recording and start it again. Here we go. You are no longer dressed as a member of the NCR. Oh, I don't get the goofy helmet anymore. Quest added. Welcome to the Big Empty. No, I still have my goofy helmet, and I still have my oven mitts, and they left my backpack on. I got this dumb thing. This thing is awesome. I noticed I left my underwear on, so that's good. Alright, door to the sink. Cool, I'm going straight in here because I haven't my character hasn't slept in a very long time. Oops. Sleep for 12 hours.
Alright, so I've been looking forward to doing this DLC for a very long time. I loved Old World Blues so much. And if I remember correctly, I'm about to experience about half an hour worth of dialogue before I have gameplay again. There's a lot of talking in this DLC, and I love every second of it. Here we go. A strange feeling of pacifism comes over you, and you find you cannot draw your weapon for some reason. Hello! My voice just broke. 12 years old, by the way. Alright, so these are the scientists from Big Mountain. I thought I heard the pacification field kick in. Alright, nobody move. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder! You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain! The collective geniuses of... We! Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, Eight? Oh, Dr. O, was it? Oh, Likely Dr. story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now... Now... Great. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Uh, how are you all speaking through that one voice box? Did... Did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. It's a lobotomite! Here, in the dome! Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse! Now we've got lobotomites! Dalla! Get the spray before it excretes all over everything! Ugh. What are you talking about? Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to. The skinvelope once containing it. Skinvelope? If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it. The way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. I know what it is, Dollar. I want to know why it's down here. With its... its limbs all over everything. And... are those... Penises I see wriggling on its feet. Disgusting. I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. I don't recall the human penis ever being that large. Same. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static. These lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. <laughs> Wish I could do that. Oh, I could actually. Now nah, I'll do this. Wave hands and nod. What? What is it doing? Did we institute electroshock? Uh, or is it excreting? I do this. Dr. Klein! Wait! I... I don't believe those gestures were random. Random at all. It's been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. I do. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. Histrionic? This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. Nonsense! Lobotomites can't comprehend us! Ace, have you been in the Mentats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are. As usual. Lobotomite, do you understand me? Yes. Can you speak? Yes. 
Yes, I'm guessing that crash satellite was yours. Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. He's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? Our efforts have turned against us. In playing God, we created a monster. I love these songs. Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled the skin envelope with like that word, awareness. Skin envelope. A teddy bear with new stuffing. Wait. If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us, then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. At last. A chance to... Dr. Klein! A transmission from the Forbidden Zone! Coming right oh, the Forbidden us. Zone! Yes! It can only be... It's, uh... Oh, I forgot his name. If it isn't Dr. Dr. Mario Collins, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain. He has the rebel rules. scorpions! Oh. It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is, yes, forbidden to you! Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the Big Mountain Research Centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's He's clearly mad, mad. Driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius. If no one's entered, of course I haven't returned. Us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. Insane. What? Ask the lobotomite for help? A, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what if it's brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. Oh. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's so aware thing. and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. You removed my brain? That explains a lot. Like, in real life, that would explain a lot if someone did that to me. We removed your brain. Yes. So soft. Barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Brainless perk. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled and is resistant to chem addiction, plus 25% resistance, and shock from bodily damage, plus 5% damage threshold, minimum plus one. Yeah, eight, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um, uh... The Tesla coils! Love that voice so much. The Tesla coils! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Rem 
reminds me of my days in American High. Okay. And Richie Marcus. Marcus. That doesn't explain the laser sutures on my chest and on my spine. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, Thanks for that. other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Secret Dada loves you. First, was the heart. Heartless Perf. The scars on your chest seem to confirm what the think tank is saying. You cannot be poisoned, and filters in your artificial blood pump will regulate bleeding and healing, allowing all healing items, chems, to function at a higher level, plus 25%. Robots are now confused by you and 50% less likely to score a critical hit. Oh wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Spineless perk. Due to complications with the procedure, your spine has been replaced as well. Your torso can no longer be crippled and your strength and damage threshold have been increased plus one. These things not being able to... Uh, like, stopping things from being crippled is great because I get crippled all the time. Spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. You took out my brain, heart, and spine? That autodoc junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Flush! That is the sound of flushing. By the Fisher of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. Oh, no! We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. First you scoop out my brain, now you want me to save ya? That is correct, yes. I hope you're not demonstrating resentment now. If you are, well, we can't have that. What makes you so sure Mobius has my brain? We have no idea! This line of questioning isn't important to us right now! Why are you asking these tangential questions? Stop it! We need these technologies. You need to get them. You must get them. I must. You are equipped to retrieve the technologies with your primitive form. We are not. It's kind of embarrassing. You have hands. And, uh, a heartbeat. Sort of. And eyes. Mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and... Enough! We need your help. Will you help us? I'll help. What do you need me to do? Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. That's my idea for every day of my life. Great. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um... They, well, move sometimes. Or get buried. Or blow up. Eight is correct. Welcome all to the we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold, hard technology, however. 
Quest added, X-13, attack of the infiltrator. tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them, you have a new spine. Use it. And even if Quest you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. Quest added, X-13, transmissions. For us. This whole place sounds dangerous. These devices sound dangerous. Nonsense! This place is no more dangerous than a nuclear detonation site! Our technology is no more lethal than an overcharged Tesla cannon! The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array, used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see! And eight's sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. Oh, I forgot about that gun. You can like uh, get rid of poor um. It also gives that a great bio gel massage. There, we have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal, uh, by our standards. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. Now, the faster I can get through this, the better. Our intentions exactly. The important thing is you rush quickly through this task so as not to waste our time. Do not get curious, or you will end up like the cat of Schrödinger. Okay. We feared you would be tempted to explore Big Mountain Crater and examine the many amazing non-mandatory research labs that lie off your designated path. The many such optional explorations are discouraged. Work hurriedly, as if you have blinders on, and leave curiosities and items of interest alone. So many sciences and developments. Pass them by. Let impatience and the desire to simply finish, to end it all quickly and carelessly guide you. Right you are, Ace. In our test results, we'll make a note about how quickly you ran our maze. I mean, experience. No bell. Challenge. Good save. After all, there will be plenty of time afterward to partake of the experiments once our bidding is done. Guess I better get walking then. Ah, that is correct. You must walk upon your many penis feet. Much slower than our advanced hovering robotical frames. The little teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and rectly, directly. There's a perimeter? The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts, and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it, warning. your visual blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously, by your deadened perceptions. So, I can't leave. Oh. Uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? If I may intersect for a moment. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you both at the same time. Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? <laughs> Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? What is this, a high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. Oh no, you're you don't always want to look like a round earther. My receptors can't take it anymore. 
and neither can my feelings. I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module. That's why his text is in all caps. If you have the gun already, I don't understand what you need. It is truly the end of all intelligence when the lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X8, just as X8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days, the sadness of my youth, my youth lost. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was Tommy Fink Tattletale and all the kids you hated. Oh, are you a little dippy dubber? Are you a dippy dubber? The lobotomite, the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? Yes, I assume so. Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. Ah, uh, he's what? He's doing what to the gun? Hold on, wait, what? Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological I don't know what's happening needs. right now. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Ooh. All right. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. Thanks. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminate codes view from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your I don't think I want to touch it. Sure. This thing is pretty cool. It's got a little sound wipe thing on the back. Careful where you're pointing that. That device wasn't always a weapon. It was more like a force field kind of thing. Once. Force fields prevent us from moving forward or backward. Thank you. They are irritating. Yes, they are. The sonic emitter was specially designed to disable our own safety fields here in Big Mountain. When some of us lost our access passes, Dr. O. That only happened once. And I know you were behind still fielding my lab keys, Dalla. You formographer. Dr. O, you rewind that comment. Rewind that Plenty comment. of rewinding already going on in your formography tapes. Surprise the things don't snap out of their cases with repeated observations. Wait, so this gun you gave me can disable force fields? Quest added sonic emitter upgrade. Yes. Maybe. Well, no, not currently. Yeah, we lost that part of the schematics. Or Boros did. In one of the stupid labs. Or inside one of the stupid pets. It is lost. All questions lead to this conclusion. The blue fields within Big Mountain shall be fielded with force. Forever. Ah. Uh. Can you please hurry? I've got a schedule. We've been here for 25 minutes. Fine, so... Yes. Get these things for us. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. I couldn't anyway. That is for us to do. What the hell? Okay. Thank you? Just... Got an email from YouTube advertising some random channel I'd never heard of. All right, cool. I didn't know they did that. Just deleted that one. Um, I'll head out then and be back with these things. Well, good. 
What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes. Thank you. Wait, is it leaving? But it ought to climb. The lobotomite will need rest. I already had a rest. Things like that. I volunteer my chambers so it might be stared at. My monitor radar slowly scanning its form to collect sensitive data. No! That would put it too close to us. It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse, let other lobotomites in. We can give it Mobius's old room. That's where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. <laughs> See what I did there? Wet literal. Yep. I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out of there. How? We're putting that off How do you move a... What? How? How would you move the couch? It says, let the lobotomite take the Sync Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program Butler can walk the lobotomite, feed it, barter with it for us. It would also prevent it from going to Higgs Village and taking up residence there with my teddy bears. And it would be nice to have it so close. Your logic, combined with my desire to keep the think tank lobotomite free, has swayed me. All my Here, friends have. I present the Sync Central Intelligence. Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink. Plug it in and make sure the chip is clean or it could skip. Sure thing. Then make whatever crude biologic demands you need of the sink. It will cater to most of your hormonal whims. So just plug it into the circular map thing in the sink upstairs. Yes, you may need to wiggle it in a bit, but don't force it. We can't recode them if you break it. There is no more we can do to aid you, and our patience levels are depleted. Now go. Rest in the sink if you must, but leave us to our research. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Of course! Go man your science stations! Go! I am surrounded by children. Alright. We're free. Aid. Let's just... Do I have any purified water? I do. I'll drink some of that. Alright, how much stuff am I holding? I'm holding a lot. Alright, back into the sink. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just dump a whole bunch of stuff off in here. And then I'll have to get up for a minute and go get a drink because my throat is killing me right now. Throw that in there. And all that. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, I better put my clothes back on properly. I can't, never mind. I'm just wearing a patient gown apparently. Alright. Um, let's put all this away. I'll keep my gecko stakes. I'm carrying a whole bunch of stuff. what ammo the uh, sonic emitter uses. Uh, not eight weapons. Sonic emitter uses E-cells. E's. Like energy cells? Yeah, energy cells. Alright, cool. Alright, I will be back in a minute. Alright, there we go. 
It was it was a minute. Okay. Let's resync my microphone again. There we go. Now I'll just get a drink. Went and got my giant drink bottle. 2.2 liters. There we go. My throat was killing me that whole time, but I didn't want to interrupt the dialogue. quest we're gonna do first uh, um, yeah I'll do this one because I'm right here hello sync Sonic emitter revelation Sonic emitter revelation now available in the vendor interface salutations and felicitations sir hello? and the most jocund welcome to the sync jocund I am your electronic valet and household central processor valet may I be of service sir are you some kind of artificial intelligence Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. There is no intelligence here, sir. Same. You mean there are other personality modules here? Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. If sir were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. However, if sir is determined to inflict upon sir's self their dubious services, sir might locate backup personality disorder. They say sir a lot, don't they? Why is that? The other modules are rather erratic, sir. Their personality matrices are built on flawed logic and have not weathered the years well, sir. So I can access their functions without loading the personality holotapes. Tragically, the core operating systems are also located on the personality tapes, sir. Once the tape is installed, sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off, and I shall oblige with great delectation. However, sir will still be required to locate and install a backup holotape to access their functionality. Why are there so many personality modules? As I am given to understand, sir, this facility was once the property of a Dr. Mobius. He crafted the personality modules as part of a collection of experiments on the subject of machine-human interface. As to the reason for the unusual choices of devices to receive the modules, I cannot say. Ah, uh, never mind. Let me ask you something else. Indubitably, sir. Thank you, one second. Alright. Ah, uh, I don't need anything else. Goodbye. Very good, sir. Okay. Find the missing modules for the sink, auto dock, and the biological research station. Station, not station. All right, let's go. All right, anyway, so back in Old World Blues. Now, what happened was we actually missed... You actually missed a bit because my recording corrupted. So, um, all I did after I left the sink was I went and got three personalities. I got the personality for the jukebox, for the auto dock, and for this thing. Did it, was, it, was it this thing? I don't know. I got three personalities, though. That, 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 that footage is missing. It's corrupted, so it's unfortunately gone. You can see it on the VOD. But the VOD only lasts two weeks, and it's probably gone by this point, if you're watching it later on. Uh, so, I am now up to getting... Uh, basically, this is a fetch quest. Uh, a large fetch quest. I need to find all the personalities for the sink. So, the other personalities I'm getting... Basically, everything in here can talk. Uh, the jukebox has a voice. This is Muggy down here. He has a voice too. Want to turn him on? Uh, the toaster is amazing. He can also talk. Uh, I think the sink in here can talk as well. The actual sink. Like, this whole room is called the sink. But that's the sink. See, the uh, sink central intelligence unit. The auto dock can talk. Um, what else can talk in here? I think there's a... What else is there? Oh, the light switches can talk. And the book shoot can talk. That's it, I think. Alright, well, I'm off to get more personalities now. I put my jacket on, but now it's getting too hot in here. Let's take it off. Alright. So that's basically what's been going on. Okay. Just, uh, 
this over the back. There we go. Just so I don't lose it. I just talked right into the microphone. Oh, hello. I'm right there, right in your head. I can hear that as well in my headphones. That's horrifying. Um, so where am I going first? Um, that's pretty close. I could fast travel up there, I guess. Um, okay, I guess I'll walk down to the antenna. I guess in a few minutes I'll walk down to the antenna array. That's a very good start, isn't it? Okay, awesome, cool. Let me just, uh, I gotta mute this because the uh, intro song is copyrighted. So I'll unmute that in a moment. That might be the fastest uh, stream start to crash I've had. I, I walked out of this, 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 this. I walked, God, I just completely messed up. I walked out of the sink and then nothing else happened. Cloud storage, uh oh, please don't. It just spent like 10 minutes before downloading my save file. Please don't do that again. All right, come on, let's go. See, this guy's nose doesn't stick through the helmet like my character's does. That's not fair. Load the downloadable content again. Aha, uh -huh. yep. This takes a little while. Oh, while this is happening, I showed it off this morning, but if no one's seen it yet, found my PS1 with uh, the original Gran Turismo in it. Might stream from that at some point in the future, because I have the H uh, AV to HDMI converter, so that'll be fun. Why is this doing that? Um, hold on. Is my streaming... Hold on. Let's load this up. Is my category right? I don't know if my streaming category is right. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. I got it right. That's fine. Yeah, Fallout New Vegas. I've had issues switching categories from games. Let me just unmute that now. Oh, wait. Hold on, wait. Talk over it. I thought that it was safe to unmute it. All right, I'm out here now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk... The antenna array's got its own quest attached to it, though, as well. But I can do that later. So I might walk out to the village there. On the left. I think that's Higgs Village over there. Which is where the scientists used to live when they were human. And, uh, yeah, I was talking about this, but it got cut off by my corrupted file. Uh, this used to be a giant mountain. All of this used to be underneath a mountain, but they did an experiment that basically blew the top off it. But they had that force field around, I think, that protected everything. I almost walked off the edge of a cliff. What's this? Hold on, wait, I'm looking at the box. Nuka Cola, that's it. Alright, cool. Uh, again, still a melee character, which is always fun. I don't regret that at all. Nice helmet. Oh, butter mate! Ow. Am I still wearing the patient gown as well? I don't remember. Hold on. Yes, I am. Never mind. Because my arm is broken. That's right. Hey, do you actually have armor on you? No, you don't. I bet the coffee mug, though. Those are always fun. Oh, wait. What's a proton axe? 77 damage per second, damage 42. How much does mine do? I got the shish kebab thing that also burns as well that I really like. That's 40. I'll keep the proton axe as well, just in case this breaks. But I do have jury rigging, so I should be alright. Okay. World map. Yep, going the right way. Oh, radiation. Gotta watch out for that. Alright, this way. I really, really like this DLC. Also, my webcam's not perfect right now. I might up it a little. Maybe down a bit. That might look exactly... <laughs> I think it's exactly the same way it was. You know what? Never mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, more lobotomites! Actually, I better use my uh, stim packs. Ow. Ulysses Point. Alright, well that's going to be important for the next DLC that I'll hopefully do tomorrow. Because I want to try and finish Old World Blues today. I'm streaming later than usual. But I just have to make up all the missed days I did. Where is... There we go. Alright, that's where I'm looking for. Hello! Yep, here's Higgs Village. Alright, what have you got? You got the jumpsuit that I'll grab. That's probably better than what I had. Alright, apparel, jumpsuit, four, one. Yeah, it's better. Right. <laughs> yeah, so, 
character's nose is so big it sticks through the helmet if you don't know. You probably can't see because it's a bit dark on the capture. But that's what it does. Alright, into Higgs Village. I don't remember which personality is in here. I think Muggy might be in here. Ow. Save it for it down here. Alright. So one of these houses is... I think it's Muggy in here. Got to show you this. I have Wild Wasteland on. Ah, uh, which means I'll save it right now. There is actually a Deathclaw here who is... If you've got Wild Wasteland turned on, he has a lot of health and he's very hard to kill. So he's probably going to kill me. His name is Stripe. There he is. He's very small, but he's very strong. He can do a lot of damage in one hit. Ow, I'm already crippled and I've lost half my health from it. Yeah, there we go. See, he kills you pretty much instantly. Because I don't have any combat skill. Like, I have no points in guns or anything. I can only really do melee. So, I'm going to leave him. I thought I'd show him off. I'm not going to fight him, though. Because I'll be there for a while. And I need to get through Old World Blues. So, I'll just... I'll just move on now. Alright. So, is he in here? Or is he upstairs? He's upstairs. Okay. This uh, Higgs Village reminds me a lot of Tranquility Lane from um, Fallout 3. When I did my Fallout 3 playthrough... I, um, oh, the jukebox is in here. Oh, so I didn't have the jukebox one. Oh, oh, never mind. When I did my Fallout 3 playthrough, I was doing good karma to get Forks as a follower, so I just immediately left Tranquility Lane through the secret exit. I didn't play through it properly. But it's, uh, it's a really cool level in Fallout 3. Alright, on to the next. I think I'll go to the antenna now. Anything in these? Lockpick skill is quite low. Uh, just some ammo, I can sell all that. Uh, in this one, turpentine. Don't need any turpentine. I don't need scrap metal either. Alright, all good. Let's get on out of here. I don't know if we have to come back to Higgs Village at any point. Okay, where is the X2 antenna array? It is this way. Say, uh, I'll say thank you to Geordie for following the channel yesterday as well. I haven't said that yet. Thank you. It was uh, when I was offline. So I just, uh, I didn't see it until last night when I was making some changes. Oh, if I didn't show it off at the start of the stream. I have a stinger now when I move between scenes. It's, uh, it's a little too long and I have to change it. So it's just temporary. I'll move back to this one. Alright. Continue. The X2 transmitter antenna. I might as well do the other course, that uh, course, other quests while I'm here. Oh, that's like a plasma pistol. Or plasma gun. Oh, so these enemies are like they're dead bodies and trauma harnesses, basically. So what the trauma harness was designed for, and this might not be, I'll just try and get close up. There you go. What the trauma harness was designed for was if someone gets injured in battle, I think the suit is meant to walk them back to base for medical help. But they didn't. And they died in the suit. So this is the suit fighting me, not the body. I think that's the law behind it. I could be wrong. It's been a very long time since I've read up on uh, big mountain stuff. But I think that's what the trauma harnesses were. No, he's dead. Oh, I leveled up. Level 24. Alright, my repair is already 100. I should probably put my science up. But my medicine needs to go up too. Alright, let's have a look. What perk do I want to grab? It's eye for an eye. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, that's going to like completely clutter the map if I do that though. Let's have a look. Here and now is a waste of a perk. Slam, commando... I'm just going to do intense training again. I know it's boring, but I'm just going to put my intelligence up so I get more points. There we go. Alright, I'm already here. I'm at the X2 transmitter array. And once I grab the thing, I'll do the quest that's here as well. Alright, so 
So what enemies are in here? Oh, robot. Please clear the area. Sorry. There's the light switch. All right, that's one of them. Okay, quest. What's the this one? Climb up the saddle. Uh, climb up to the satellite dish and retrieve the X2 antenna. Sure thing. Please leave the area. Right. I really like this shish kebab thing. I'm gonna turn my torch on as well. Just make it a little easier. All right, let me just climb up there and grab the antenna. There we go. Take the antenna. Dr. Mobius unlocked his voice. Robo Scorpions! There they are. There's the Robo Scorpions. Oh my god, I did barely any damage. Uh oh. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Ah. Uh, So the Robo Scorpions explode when they're done, and I forget that. Ow, ow, I'll oh, they're up here too. I just remembered I shortcutted my, um, just remembered I shortcutted it, the uh, Stimpaks. This is a far walk, so I'll wait till there's no enemies and I'll fast travel closer to it. Right, so this is a hardcore playthrough as well, if you don't know. So I have doctor's bags to heal my crippled limbs. If there's any bear traps here, I'm going to lose my damn mind. Alright. World map. Can I fast travel to here? I can. That's good. Oh wait, am I in like, like the canyon here? Yes, I am. Okay, good. All right, well, let me climb on out of here, I guess. These little crystals are pretty cool, though. Got a truck. Big, big truck. I can't drive a truck in real life. Ooh, they just kind of spawned on in, didn't they? All right, well, that's good. That's fun. Just hear Mobius just screaming. Attack! All right, let's see how much damage I can do to these things. Mark 3B's, uh, I can do damage to them, but it's just tedious. Oh, hey, got a melee hacker perk. Mobius is such a cool name. Oh, this is just, I'm just hacking away. Just hacking and whacking and slapping. Whatever the line is. Oh, slashing. Hacking and whacking and slashing. That's the line. Alright, there's still another one over here. Hacking and whacking, chopping that beat. Alright, so I can't actually see their health bars because my microphone's in the way, so I'm gonna move this down a little bit. There we go. I was, I was watching their health through my pop filter and I was like, is it going down? I can't see couldn't tell all right so um oh what happened here i think it was either elijah from dead money or the character that shows up in lonesome road who caused a train crash here when they escaped from the big empty i don't remember who one of them did it though this game had so much lore attached to it that is not the way in let's open this giant train gate Ooh. there it is over here Okay, and I'm out of here. Don't shoot at me. All right, good. All right, let's return to the think tank. What am I doing now? Oh no, I got more now. Oh, there's another one in Higgs Village. Oh, Muggy's there now. I think that's where Muggy is. All right, let's go grab him. The little bottomites might respawn here too. No, they don't. I remember they spawn here quite a lot. 
Alright. Put this away, I don't really need it right now. Yeah, so, uh, Old World Blues, the dialogue is what really makes it. The quests itself are very, uh, fetch questy. Like, very, uh, you know, just go here, get this, come back sort of stuff. There we go. House 101. Alright, is he upstairs? Oh, book shoots in here, not Muggy. Oh, I guess Muggy isn't in here then. Alright, I really thought Muggy was a personality in Higgs Village, but I guess not. Oh! The truck outside. If you can hear that beeping, I'm sorry. They want things to be. Alright, let's see what else we're gonna grab. Alright, so the last. I think these might be the last two personalities to grab. It's, uh, Toaster and Muggy. Ah, oh, we left the best two for last, didn't we? Alright, fast travel to Ulysses Point. We'll walk from there. We are going... West. This way. Oh, it's dark. We'll just wait till morning, actually. Just so it's not so dark on the capture. Three, two, one. It's the twelfth of the twelfth month. All right, eight. Drink some water and I'll eat some steaks. There we go. Got a stim pack as well. Just one on that. All right, that looks radioactive. I'll walk around it. There's the antenna array from before. <sighs> Alright, so who's over here? Is this one going to be Muggy, or is this one going to be the toaster? This might be Muggy, actually. Actually, I think Muggy might have been in the back of a truck, now that I'm thinking about it. Or a shipping container, maybe. This thing. Oh, What's this? Huh. Oh, combat armor. I saw the, uh, the old world flag on it. This is one of the drops that uh, Ulysses has. Um, apparel, combat armor. There we go. Now we got something better. It's not in there. Is that there? The cuckoo's nest. That's my only thing. That was a loud thump. Actually scared me. Alright, is it up there? Uh, hmm. How do I get up there? I like this. There we go. Oh. Poor guy. Oh, is it in here? Is it in the cuckoo's nest? Oh, it is. All right. Oh, there's a lot of lobotomites in here. Yeah, thanks for telling me I crippled his left arm. I also crippled his life. Oh, test subject one. Guess he was the first lobotomite. Let's have a look around. Over here somewhere, maybe. Oh, this place is creepy. Ugh. We're living with a whole bunch of dead bodies, skeletons. Which is technically a dead body as well. Um, over here? Just trying to look at the map marker. There he is. Oh, there's the toaster. I'll just take all these as well. Gonna do a dumb bit later with them. Alright. Where is Muggy? Muggy is all the way over there. Someone's wheeling a bin past my window. Yeah, so it is very, very fetch questy. 
I think there's a bit later on where you redo the same thing three times in a row, or maybe even four times. I think that happens twice. I think there are two sections where you have to do something multiple times over, like three or four times. I'm gonna run out of stim packs. Like, I know I have a lot of them. I have 260 of them, but I could still run out. You have discovered a loading station. Hello, loading station. Again, I've said this all through Fallout 3, and I'm saying this through New Vegas. I wish on console there was a sprint button. Not playing on PC, I have no mods. So I can't put in like a sprinting mod or anything, which kind of sucks. If I do replay this game again, which I should, because this whole playthrough has been a disaster, uh, I would absolutely put mods on it. But also mods can make this game crash a lot more. I really wish Obsidian had like an extra year or so to work on this game. They could have put in all the stuff they cut, it could have worked properly. Wish they weren't rushed. Securitron Deconstruction. There he is. Muggy. Hold on, Lobotomites, hold on. Alright. Alright, where's the other one? There they are. Oh, no, you are kidding me. Please, no. Please, no. <laughs> okay, so the thing about the Casadors is they were actually made here in the Big Mountain by the scientists and they escaped and went to the Mojave. So they're not like a natural evolution of anything from radiation. They're a, a full creation. Alright. Let's head on back to the sink balcony. Sink. Alright, we got everything else to do right now. So, I'm gonna take a break. Save it right here, and I will be back hopefully shortly. I might be about 10 minutes or more because I got some something I have to do. Alright, got new headphones all working, ready to go. That's very echoey for me. Alright, well, oh my god, yeah, this is this is a really weird feeling. Uh, this is not, not great. Oh my god, the sound is so off-putting. Alright, let's just get through this. Ooh, yeah, dig that sweet music. What's your purpose here? Dig, I'm an acoustical wizard kid. Old Doc Moe used me to prototype his sonic weapon designs. Get me a good sample base to work from, and I can whip up a way that makes Jericho look like a kazoo. Break the walls down! Can you do anything like that for me? Got yourself a sonic emitter, don't you? Thought so. Bring that old thing on in here and bring me some sound samples and I'll make that baby sing. Or scream. <laughs> nah, that's <laughs> not what I want, mate. Want. <clears throat> um, I want to recalibrate the sonic emitter. Right on, daddy. Let's spin some grooves. Uh, Revelation! Select desired recalibration setting for Sonic Emitter. Revelation. Alright, so the jukebox is now online. Let's do the light switches. Mmm, that was a nice little uh, cat nap. How long was I out? No idea. Uh, I saw another light switch in the other room. Do you control that one too? Oh, her. Trust me, sweetie. You're better off not thinking about that frigid little ice queen. The light switches do not like each other. Sounds like some bad blood between you. Or, uh, circuits. That bitch. She thinks she's so much better than everybody just because her processors are bigger. Ooh, she makes me so mad. Okay, then. Forget I said anything. Sure thing, sweetie. I have to go now. Bye now. Alright, who am I turning on next? I'm gonna leave the toaster and muggy for last. 
Uh, let's get the light switch. Where is it, actually? Oh, it's there. Oh, my. Partial functionality restored. That's less than optimal. What function do you serve? Dr. Mobius and I were deeply involved in research on the ability of light levels deeply. to enhance human cognition. What were the results? We observed a fascinating phenomenon. Certain spectra of visible light actually increased cognitive function and reasoning ability. <laughs> of course, Dr. Mobius's brain is so big already, we had a hard time measuring it. That's an innuendo. Uh, I have to go, we'll talk later. Certainly. I'm looking forward to it. My voice is already desynced in these headphones. These are not very good ones for this. Alright. Uh, hey, Autodoc. Uh, well, how about that? Old Autodoc's back online. Well, alright. Come here. Let's have a look at you. Literally me. I'm feeling a little unwell in the head. Can you perform a psychiatric evaluation on me? Concerned about the state of your mind, are you? Well, such things ain't my specialty, but I'm happy to tender my opinion as to your mental health. I should make you aware that the benefits of such a procedure are exclusive. That is, this only works once. Now, are you sure this is what you want? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. Just try to relax. This won't hurt. Unless your sense of self is especially vulnerable. This is going to be excruciating. Ah, uh, no, nah, I don't want to do that. This just makes you uh, change your traits around. All right, auto dock is online. I'm going to talk to the sink and sell that ammo I picked service, up. Sir. Uh, what services do you provide? In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide sir with direct access to the commissary. Any goods Sir might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface, whence tiny robots shall deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. I didn't understand a word of what he said. I'd like to buy some things. Very good, sir. And might I venture to opine that a new trilby might be just the thing to complete Sir's ensemble? I don't need to wear a trilby. Alright, where's the ammo? Here we go. Sell all this. There you go. What do you have? Oh, do you have stim packs? You do. Cool. I'll just buy two of them. There you go. Alright, let's turn on the sink. Oh, God, look at you. You're filthy. I suppose you'll want to clean up then. You seem kind of worried about dirt. What's wrong? Oh, it's just so unsanitary. Do you know how many germs are in one cubic centimeter of dirt? Seventy hundred gajillion. Doesn't sound right. Would you want that getting washed down your gullet day in and day out? I didn't think so. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Come back any time you want to drink. Or to get... clean. Okay, uh, the Biological Research Station. Mm, oh, yeah, baby. Feels good to be online again. Right. Yeah, all oh, circuits online. Ready to receive your seed. I have to go now. Hurry back with that seed now, baby. Okay, I got three more. The shoot! Ah, good day, citizen. Library Processing Unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Sir, this is a little daddy long -winded spider was crawling on a box down there, I just didn't want him there. Ah, uh, eradicate sedition? Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety-split. I'll have them pumped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again clean and white and sedition-free. All right. Uh, but those books are our last legacy of the time before. You can't destroy them. Citizen, 
That sounds dangerously seditious. I'm sorry. If my I'm reindoctrination module was installed, I'd take care of that for you. I don't know where that Sadly, is. Sadly, that system was cut for budget concerns, so you'll have to perform your own indoctrination. Get right on that. Now, to begin with, you'll need a cage that can fit over your head and a sack of mole rats. Oh. I have some other questions. Questions are dangerously close to independent thought, citizen. Uh-oh. Uh, nothing right now. Goodbye. Stay loyal, citizen. Sure thing. Alright, we'll do Muggy and then we'll do the toaster. You! Hey, you! Yeah, you! Got any mugs? Mugs? Why do you want mugs? Why do you want mugs, huh? You some kind of sick mug hoarder? Oh god, give me the coffee cup, please! It's sitting there in your pack, taunting me! Sorry, um, sorry. I gotta let it carry away. It's just all those goddamn dirty dishes out there with no one to clean them, it breaks my heart! You seem really obsessed with mugs. Of course I'm obsessed. They made me this way. You think I don't know how crazy I sound? Of course I do. Love they programmed me to know that too. They made me just to torture me. But you know, it's the neglect that hurts the most. Hey, everybody, let's turn ourselves into robot brains in jobs. Do you know how many coffee cups giant robot brains and jars use on a daily basis? Not fucking many! <laughs> what can you do with the mugs? I'm supposed to keep them clean. Oh, God! The thought of all those dirty dishes out there makes me crazy. Most of them are probably beyond saving now. The only thing left is break them down and process them for raw materials. I guess you could have those. Let's change the subject. Is the new subject mugs? Here, take whatever you want. Oh, sweet, sweet fulfillment! I'll break these down for you just as fast as I can. Uh, processed coffee mugs and dishes. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Alright, here we go. This is one of my favorite characters in Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> yes. I am online once again! Tremble world before my electric heating coil of doom! I'm almost afraid to ask what your function is. You should be afraid! I am the scourge of all small appliances, and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night. So you murder toasters? Not just murder! I tear them apart and render them down to their base components! Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like! Ah... Uh, what else do you do? You want some weapon schematics? I can show you some fucking weapon schematics. You want a superheated Saturnite power fist? I can hook that shit up! I'll keep an eye out for any Saturnite power fist then. You find one, you bring it on back here, and we'll burn this mother down! Alright. Tremble, you're a toaster! How fearsome can you be? A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world! Why all the rage? Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? Or anything other than a bread slot? You'd have a lot of pent-up anger, too. Well, I for one am quaking in my boots. Buddy, if my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now! On fire! I'd like to change the subject. Well, since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. I have to go now. Yes! Flee before my terrible power! Alright. What do we got next? What's another quest? Ah. Uh... Oh, this one. You know, what? I'm gonna get that out of the way. I'm just gonna get it out of the way now. That is the one that repeats. 
You have to do multiple times over. Alright, this way. Um. Oop. Yep, there it is. So this is a quest that you have to do a lot of. But this is how you get the Sonic emitter to disable force fields, I think. But you have to do the same thing, like, three or four times. Oop. Stuck. 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 There we go. Unstuck. Oh, restuck. 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 Restuck again. Alright, nope. Restuck. Restuck. On this. And jump up there. There we go. There we go. That's a lot of radiation. I'm going to use a runaway. Right go. Okay. In we go. Right, let's get this over and done with. Science! Oof. Hello. And who gets to clean up all this part? And who gets to clean up all this part? I heard him say it. You didn't need to repeat it. All right, let's get going. Enter institutional data retrieval. Basic test. There we go. Ah, uh, I can't read it. Can you? The thing's covering it. Uh, for this test, you must use any means necessary to retrieve three student files from an average high school. Basic security terminals have been activated. I don't think it said terminals. Protocols have been activated. Success. Retrieve three student files. Failure. Security measures prohibit you from retrieving the files. Alright. Let's do it. Okay. Attention students. Yes. I do like boys, so... Dr. Principal Boros. You may know me as the head chief first research. What the hell you shot a force field at me? And C14. There I fought valiantly to preserve rattlesnake DNA. And put it right there in the hearts of another fear predator. That's not where the turret is. There it is. Idiot, I swam at the wrong corner. There we go. Hole monitor. It's called a hole monitor. That's pretty funny. Stop this bag. There it is. Richie Marcus midterm grades. Richie Ball Lover Marcus. English F, Math F, Science F, History F. Now, yeah, Richie Marcus sucks. Hello. I will send the lobotomites through the corridors to weed all you. Your student trainers. records retrieve Sherry O'Bannon's schedule. They will sniff out which right. one you have chosen the commie path. Oh no, not the commie path. I can't swing. I can't swing. All monitors will also be vigilant. Step outside during class, and they'll make sure you make a speedy jump back to your chair. They got these cyber dogs quickly. I'm crippled again. I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'm not gonna waste a doctor's bag on it. Alright, so I think you have to go up yeah, upstairs for the next one. There we go. Hey! Come today! Victory tomorrow! Ow. Ow. Ow, I'm just limping. Oop! Damn it, do I have a gun on me? I don't have dynamite though. Oh, hey, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Alright, dealt with that. Um, over there. Let's use another stim pack while I'm at it. Can't read the trophy. Very blurry. Open door. This way. Richie likes balls. 
boss. This guy just cannot let go. Let's just try and get the... Nope. Try and get the mug. Try and get the mug. Thank you. Alright. Retrieve student records. Retrieve Betsy Bright's records. Betsy Bright's disciplinary record. Okay. Got them all. Jesus Christ. They just throw stuff at you. I'm oh, not sorry. They, they shoot four fields at you. God, I hate the sound they make. I'm sorry. I don't like hurting dogs in games. I really don't like it. Level up. I did. This is really Boros, by the way. Uh, hello again. None of us thought you would get this far. All right. So this is if you have the wild wasteland on, you get to see these dogs playing. I think it's playing poker. Sit, stay, kill. Okay. Kind of creepy, but all right. Why not? Test. Wasn't that oh, that's right there. Some reason? Oh, yeah. Alright, it doesn't explode. I don't know why I thought they exploded. Oh, yes. My oh, I forgot all about the game. Oh. Oh, and the countless experiments I've done on him back in his. Gabe? Gabe is such a sad story. Came to visit. That's why I replaced his life. Yeah, leave. Alright, time to do it again. I use my doctor's bag again. I don't know if I can use another doctor's bag, I mean. Alright, time to do it another time. Okay, residential cyber dog test. Oh, I said this is different. This one actually going in here. Oh, he's got the schematics. Hey, Gabe, how you doing? Oh, I'm just going to put him out of his misery. There is a way to save him. I don't remember. I just chopped his head off. Alright, just take everything. Oops. Didn't think that through. Alright. Okay, now I have the thing. This thing. I have one E cell. Because I sold them all because I'm a moron. Alright. Enter institutional data retrieval. Advanced test. For this test, you must use any means necessary to retrieve three student files. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm already. Okay. Well, let's see if I can do it with one energy cell. <laughs> Probably not. Nope. This is the pre recorded voice of your pre recorded Ah, uh, you idiot. I gotta do this first. Oh, it gave me ammo. That's good. Alright, switch out to the cheese kebab for this. Alright, one dog dead. Oh, the whole monitor over here. Oh, I just keep getting crippled. Me getting crippled is so iconic in this game now. Do not be alarmed. Order will be restored soon. Machine head hurt. I know, I'm just gonna leave it crippled. Alright, retrieve school records. Yes, yes, I've already read these. Okay, cool. Alright, next one. I think the other one's upstairs too. Same. You know, I'll take a deal with that. Alright, next bit. Onwards. Hello? More of them. 
I think it's at that same computer again. School is a sacred trust. His commentary is really saving this. Of this hated facility. Now I see its worth and see it was corrupted by fraternities and girls. Yuck. What are you, nine? Do not attempt to play. Area. I keep thinking they explode. I don't know why I keep thinking they explode. They don't. Alright, crew student records, Betsy Bright. Yep, there we go. Got them all again. And I think I have to do this a third time, maybe? Or is that it? That might be it, actually. There we go. This way. Just did a full circle like a moron. Alright. Dog is still in there, that's good. Okay. So I'm trying to remember what the other repair. I think there's like a, a stealth mission you have to do at some point. I don't really remember off the top of my head. That's back into the kennel. I'm not going back in the kennel. Um, we going this way? I'm kind of lost. The kind of all looks the same. Oh, hello. Guess this is the right way. Okay, can I fix... Oops, not what I wanted. I want that. Can I fix this with a proton axe? Nope. Alright, I can fix the... I just used the X2 antenna. Do I actually need that for anything? do that though. We'll go back to the kennel. Search the dig spots. No, can't go in there anyway. I hope I don't need the, uh, hope I don't need the antenna for anything. Because I accidentally used it. Oops. Still crippled, so it's hard to swing. There we go. He's dead. Alright. What's in the medical supplies? What's that? Ah, just rounds. Alright, that's what we're doing. Uh, I think it's one of these things I have to read. I'm not going to read them all, though. Is that it? Yeah. Alright. Find the key to the X8... Oh, our kennels. Might have, that might, might be the third time doing this again. Okay. That, oh, I don't have to do it again. Eh, Alright then, never mind. Let's grab this though while I'm here. All the way over there. I've not been there yet. Alright. I don't think I've been on this side of the map at all yet. I'm going to resync my headphones just while I'm at it. There we go. Let's resync that quickly. Ah, uh, hold on. Did I do that right? Let me have a quick look. Microphone test. New tab. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, continue. <laughs> well, that's just expected now, isn't it? Uh, let me remute this again.
That happens quite a lot. That happens quite a bit. Alright, these headphones look ridiculous on me. They really don't suit me at all. I gotta buy some new ones. I'll have to jump on and have a look, see if I find some cheap ones temporarily. Scorpions won't spawn there. That's why I'm fast traveling away. All right, this way. Uh, we'll use that doctor's bag now as well. Just while I'm at it. Oh, God. my throat is starting to really kill me again. God, I'm. I have to finish all world blues. I have to do it. I can't put it off again. It can't take me like four streams to get through all world blues. This is my third. No, I didn't do any yesterday. It's my second technically. Alright, uh, here they are. These are the Night Stalkers. They have, um, Rattlesnake Venom. They're like, they're half... Coyote? Half Rattlesnake? Maybe? I just got crippled again. Ugh. It's annoying. This game just loves crippling your limbs. Just loves it. Does it constantly. Oh, good. Both my legs are broken. Awesome. Great. Well, uh, doctor's bags. Alright, I like the sound they make. Oh, I don't like hurting dogs in games. I really, really don't like it. Alright. Let's save it as well in case it crashes again. They couldn't get me on the pipe, they can. Alright. Is that all? I hope so. Alright. Going into X13. Don't remember what's in X13. What am I doing here? We need to use the Sonic Emitter now to uh, open up things. Go. Some energy cells for it. What did I see? Oh, there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Can't go in. <laughs> God, my lockpick sucks. Ah! I remember this now. Doing X13 stuff. Alright, hold on. There we go. There's the boots. Or oh, damage boots. There's the real boots. Never mind. Um, what else is there? Is it the armor, I think? Is that in here? Damage prototype. Damage prototype. There it is. Uh, you have obtained the Oral Stealth Suit. Not only can it be upgraded through testing in X13, it also has medics and stim pack reserves for all your pain dampening needs. Medics and stim packs not included. Okay. Um, apparel, that's right. Stealth Suit Mark II, there we go. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Who can I hide you from today? 
Forgot it talks. Okay. Cool. Stimpak reserves adequate. Yeah, they are. Please don't use them all. Medex reserves empty. Yep, that's by design. I don't use medex. Science! Who do you think is cuter? Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? They are brains in jars. Data collection away online. Please use the terminal below to begin user synchronization. Alright, so this is the stealth testing one. This is the one you also have to do multiple times over. Uh, basic this infiltration is the step. basic stealth test. The robots will be looking for us, but we won't let them find us. I will be back in one second. Hold on. There we go. Here she is. Sorry, I had to go deal with her. She got. She must have got scared because she was crying. So I had to go and find her and just calm her down. Didn't I, Rose? Good girl. Alright. For this test, you must steal a document in the administrator's office without being detected by the patrolling robots. A successful run will automatically update the suit software and award an item in the supply cabinet. Success! Reach the administrator's office and steal document without being detected. Failure! Detection. Ah, uh, yeah, I know how to do it. Okay. Oops. If you want to be sneaky, turn off your pit boy light. Thank you, stealth suit. My pit boy light was on. Alright, do not find me, please. Ooh. Safe now. Grab that for Muggy. Alright. And that one too. Alright. Oh, hold on. I saw you. I saw you. I need you. Boop. What's that? Oh, coffee pot. Yeah. Don't know one of those. What am I supposed to do? Up there? I'm supposed to go up? What? Hold on. Wait, now I'm confused. Let me have a look at my local map. Oh. Oh, it's over there. Too bad. We were spotted by robots. If you go back to the terminal to restart the test... Alright, hold I'm on. I'm going to have a look again. and see where I'm actually supposed to go. Is it in here? I was looking at the wrong door thing, wasn't I? Where is it? Oh, wait. No, hold on. Let me restart the test. Oh, I'm going to be here a while, I think. This should be easy. Yeah, as as it should be. It's not going to be easy. You didn't screw up, suit. I, I did. Let's go this way this time. Got some stealthy robot suit to wear. He's gonna turn around, isn't he? Yep. Where am I going? 
actually in here or is it in here? Hold on, hold on, hold on, just a moment, hold on, I think I might have found the way. I think I might have finally found what I'm looking for, actually. Stealth boys are a robot's big weakness. Alright, where is it? Okay, hold on. I'm looking for an office, right? There it is. You freaking moron. Alright, I found it. I found it. I know where it is now. Yeah, going the wrong way multiple times. Bloody idiot. Alright, test selection. Let's go again. Okay, it should be easy. It isn't. Open the door! Who closed the door on my face? Who did that? My character's got the world's largest nose. Fully broke it. Wrong button. There you go. Oh, you stupid. I went the wrong way. Okay. There we go. I, uh... I, I went the wrong way. Right off the bat. Okay. It's in here. Alright. So here's a basic easy test that I stuffed up. Now I know where it is. Okay. Good. There we go. Got Test it. data processed. For more updated to version 1.1. Boot damping sensors online. Oh no, Dr. Mobius and his robo scorpions! They are here to stop me! Robot bugs. I'm for violence. Sting them till they're so dead. Alright, where am I going now? I don't actually have to do that multiple times. It upgrades your suit, but I don't really want to do that. See ya. This one looks pretty tough. It's not. Okay. Ah! Science! Dr. Mobius! Injecting Stimpak. Why right here? Ah, uh, speech. Fixing my mistakes. Run. Okay. Phew. We haven't seen anybody in a while. They're right here. The are you kidding me? Hey, suit lady, are you blind? We just killed the scorpion. We're standing in front of him. We haven't seen anybody in a while. What's right in front of us? They're deadly robo scorpions! Attack! Go, my minion! Stink! That's all. Alright, now what are we doing? That's optional. Huh. Don't remember. You know what, I'll figure that out in a minute. Sneaking gun. Fighting now. Ow! I see you. I see you. I will escape you, Mobius. Come here, you coward. Come here, you coward. This Robo Scorpion is like, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Right. As useless as the bottle of the same name. Well, it's just as an example of an object that uselessly tries to fulfill its purpose. Come here. Ow. Fighting over. Alright, now we will fast travel back to the X8 Research Center. Alright, 
don't know why I said that like that. Now I got Mobius' voice stuck in my head. Sting them until they are stupid! Uh, oh, what was that? Dog and robot splicing experiment holotape. I want nothing to do with that. What am I doing? We go in there. That door was not rendered properly. Alright, let's search all these spots. I think it might be over here. Nope. I'm thinking... I'm remembering it. Being, like, somewhere around here. Like... Is it over here? That's just a baseball. No one likes baseball. This one? Nope, it's another baseball. God, I remember everything wrong. Hey Rose, you're back. Alright. You okay? Up you go, come on, you can go up. You don't need my help. Oh. You go up on the couch? Come here. Rosie, come in. Did you want to go up there or not? You don't want to go on the couch? No? Okay. I'll get to you in a minute. You want to go? Okay. Oh, hold on. Oops. Uh-oh. One second. Wheel got caught in a hole in my pants. Um, if you need to go out, I will take you out in two minutes. Just give me, give me two minutes, okay? Alright, just gonna find this thing and then I'm gonna take my dog outside. Where is it? Did I search this one? Is it gonna be the last one I look in? It's gonna be the last one I look in, isn't it? Nah, there it is. Okay. Time to fight. Fight what? Oh, that makes sense. A round of our scorpions are here! Alright, good, let's go. Attack! Up oh, there in here too. Tail walking on. Ow, my leg! My leg! My leg! Ready, steady, fighting. Oh, yes. <laughs> Don't this is so ridiculously over the top, and I love him. Fighting, fighting. Oh, they hit her. Hold on. Zero. This one looks pretty tough. No, it doesn't. If you think raising the cyber dogs of the X8 makes you brave, the hell did that dog go? There he is. Oh, he's despawned. You. They will bite you. Something's growling at me. It's gonna be my dog in a minute if I don't get up. Take her outside. It's gonna limp away. <laughs> oh, my legs! My legs! Oh. Can I fast travel yet? Nope. Was that all the quests I had to do? Yeah, that's fine. I don't need to do the other one. That's optional. Have to walk back to the think tank. It's so far away. Look how far away the dome is. Can I just? Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm going to. That's all. Yeah, I know that's all. Thank you. I am going to quickly go take my dog outside, and then I will be back. There we go. All right. Uh, three, four. Alright, back into Old World Blues. I have to give the toaster all the toasters I found, though. Also, my limbs are still badly crippled. Doctor's bag, there we go. Where? No false alarm. It was just a plate. Mate, I thought there was a communist in here. God. Oh, that was almost... That was almost a serious issue, wasn't it? Alright, toaster. Here we go. Ah, uh, where are they? Misk. Okay, how many did I pick up? I got nine. All right. Well, I can't drop more than five at a time, because then they'll all go into one item, and I don't want that. Oh, I still have one left over. There you go. Here you are. Here you are, Lord Toaster. I have got you lesser toasters to murder and strip down to their base components. Together, we will burn the world in nuclear fire. 
Again! There you go, friend. Alright, think tank. So I don't really remember how this DLC ends, to be honest. My memory of it kind of ends around this point. Uh, oh, that's right. They're not all standing out here anymore. They're all like kind of doing their own thing. I thought they were. I thought they glitched out. There he is. is this Boris or no Klein? Did you retrieve the technologies yet? I have indeed we retrieved the technologies, them, sir. As I have indicated. Uh, you all seem knowledgeable in your fields. No doubt, there's much you can share with me. Why, yes. We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. I've recovered all the technological information. What? You did? Your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. Your projections are wrong, mate. Now, all I need to do is check my transmission data bank. Mobius is always Mobius. filling up with his psychotic calls. Oh, yes. There's the schematics, just like Can you, you said. Back up a little bit. Your eyes are freaking me out, mate. Uh, do these technologies have the information you need? Yes. Hmm. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Um, hmm. Let me just, uh, hold on, let me just change this setting real quick. Alright, uh, something wrong? No. I mean, yes. You just need no. to analyze these technologies for a moment there. Extremely advanced, you know? Uh, I'm going to advance my boot into your voice module if you don't give me some solid data. I know how these technologies work. Of course I know. If you remember, we described them in clearly abstract, contradictory statements before. I do remember that. Why would we do that if we weren't certain on... on how to use them? Yes, so let me... Hmm, a bit, huh? I'll figure it out. Uh, the antenna. Any chance it was damaged or broke the X2 array once removed? So you're saying it's the X2 array, not the antenna I should be examining. That was I most likely my plan, I do not have the X2 yes. anymore. I've used it by accident. Let me check something. Of course, I have it. The override sequence to open the Forbidden Zone door is hidden in the schematics. Yes. Well, not hidden. It's actually right there, behind the programming equivalent of coffee stains. Got him. It's embedded in what seems to be recursive code. It's badly commented there and there. Oh, and null pointers. Very sloppy, Mobius. Oh, don't let him hear you say that. You see, using the antenna to boost the emitter's sonic frequency and the stealth suit to bypass the Forbidden Zone lock. Yes, that could work. Was that my plan? It must have been. Was that my Sometimes plan? Sometimes I truly surprise myself. The door is open. And now, Mobius will get his. His what? Ah, uh, the cardiac, spinal, and brain wave aspect. Brave vein? Brainwave aspects of this tech. Couldn't they heal me? Heal you? What, put you back together like some giant hard-boiled yum-yum deviled egg? I mean, technically, these items could all be used to put you back together once you had your brain. But for now, they can be used in the name of aggression. The door should be unsealed. Now, instead of being subjected to threats, we can now send an equally threatening message to Mobius. And that message is science. Deliver this message, and Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius's reign of terror. Sure. Um, you can go now. That's your cue. We're not playing pool. <laughs> oh my god, that was such a bad joke. Oh, that might have been the worst joke I've ever said. Alright, let's just go. Let's get out of here. I'm just gonna go. I gotta get out of here. I have a toothache. Why have I got a toothache? Why is my tooth hurting? Uh-oh, that's not good. Gotta go to the dentist. Oh no. I don't wanna go to the dentist. That sucks. Ow. Toothache. Right here. It really hurts. Game crashed on the saving screen. That could be very bad. First a toothache and then a game crash while saving. Uh-oh. Ow! Oh my god, that freaking hurt. I hit my knuckle right on the sharp bit of my mic. Let me just mute that. 
You know, mute. I have to again. If you don't know, I have to mute the audio for the main menu because it's copyrighted music. All right. Well, I really hope that that uh, didn't like corrupt my save or anything. I don't remember when I last like did a proper like manual save. Do not remember. When was that? It wasn't during the stealth suit thing, was it? Well, I hope the game's not broken. I hope that's not the end of New Vegas for me. Yes. Let's see. Oh, good. Time to fight. Alright. The Robo Scorpions are attacking! Now I end you. My arm is broken. You broke my arm. Destroy this one. I'll make more. Sure thing, Morbius. Go, my minion. Sting them in the name of all that is Morbius. All right, over. he's dead. Fighting over. Let's move on to the. Uh, is it? Yeah. A forbidden zone, a zone that is yes, forbidden to you. That's where Mobius is. I just love the way he talks. Time to fight. There it is. Hello. Ow, ow, ow. there we go. Looks like you're stuck. Oh, it's my Robo Scorpion, will you? you? Oh, it's my Robo Scorpion, will you? Swinging at it. Ah, right, there we go. The forbidden zone. The zone that is forbidden to me. Forgot about the giant one. Ah, uh, I'm going. Not that way. Uh, this way. Okay. Oh, I fell off the bridge. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, ow! Mobius is talking... He's talk. He's saying like six sentences at the same time. Alright, how am I gonna deal with this giant thing that can apparently throw black holes at me? Uh, where is my sonic emitter? There it is. Get this shield out of the way. Power regulation terminal. Activate backup generator. Yes. Did that do anything? That did nothing. I am heavily irradiated as well. Use some rad X, some rad away. Drink that for gecko steaks. Also still- Ow! Oh, this thing is just- I'm not doing much damage to it at all. I don't remember how to fight that thing. I did some damage to it with the backup generator, whatever. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're not helping. He's quoting the Teletubbies. That's all. Uh oh. Right, anything in here I can use? Got some more rat away. Uh oh. Stop, stop quoting Poe from the Teletubbies, please, for the love of God. Ah! Oh! My right arm and right leg is broken. Fighting over. No, it isn't. Shut up. The fighting is not over. Look at this. Did you not see the thing that that robot scorpion threw at me? Uh -oh. Look at that one. That one's also a giant. Alright, what's up here? Hey, some ammunition. Here. I'm over. I don't have another gun, I don't think. No. Oh, I have dynamite. Oh, I have the lair. For this thing. Hey, that did bugger all. Um, dynamite. Fighting over. That make the distance. Only just. Ready, steady. All right, Fighting. take this. And take this. That's fine. 
Ow! Oh, I'm nearly dead. I am almost extremely dead. Everything is crippled. Alright, aid. Where is my doctor's bag? There we go. Alright, can I use that? Nope. Not smart enough for that. Okay. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Where's that one? Just my left leg is now also crippled. This is a fight for the ages. I will use all my dynamite here. I'm not afraid. Ah! I'm afraid! Throw it at the wall! This is doing nothing to him. No, that's not all. Stop saying that. Can I turn this on? Steady. Nope. Ow! That's all. No, stop. It's not all. Did you not see this giant scorpion? This one looks pretty tough. It's gonna be okay. Bad guys, don't get. They're not dealt with. Look at this giant monstrosity. This one looks pretty tough. Where'd I get the lighter from, by the way? Starting combat. Just kidding. What do you mean, just kidding? That's all. This suit, she needs to shut up right now. Alright, where is... Ran away, two of those. That as well. Okay, what else have I got? That's not really working. I'm just, I guess I could run down there. Let's give it a save so I don't have to do all that again. Alright, let's go. Ow! Bad save. Bad save. Where is the way down? Oh, I'm just jumping. Ah! Fighting I am coming to you. I'm going to fight you like like a human. Okay, one on one. One v one me, giant <laughs> scorpion, bro. Ah! Whack. I set you on fire somehow. I am completely crippled. I am limping for this. Oh my god, is this actually going to kill him? Atomic laser stinger? Oh my god. Got him. Bad guys dealt with. Now the bad guys dealt with. If I was closer, that would have killed me. Okay. Alright, Morbius. Where you at? You're up there. Alright. Damn right, I leveled up. Okay, let's have a look. What am I putting up? More explosives. That can always help. Alright. Just take everything that had. Okay. Mobius. Got a lot to answer for, mate. All those robo scorpions. You know, I realized I never got power armor training. Oh well. There's a lot in this game I didn't do. Alright, Mobius. There he is. There you go. Hmm? Yo. Hello. Hello there. Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? Uh, it's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. And you're talking about uh, my brain. A little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left? Yeah, right, FOV Coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Uh, surrender, Mobius! I don't want to fight you. Because you're obviously insane. Oh. Well, and not aware of what's going on. Were we supposed to fight? I certainly don't feel violent, but, well, these contraptions make it hard to tell. You aren't exactly what I was expecting. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. I need my brain back. Do you? 
You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent, has all manner of opinions. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. Time for me to go. Goodbye. I'm not going to kill him. Indeed. I really like Dr. Mobius, so I don't want to kill him. Goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. So, that's a reference to Archimedes. A mathematician who was uh, who was killed when he told someone to not step on his equations on the floor, I think. It's my brain! Hello, my brain! Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been, hmm? Crawling through pits of radioactive muck again? This would be my brain, just sarcastic. Are you my brain? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? What, a, what an a-hole. Why are you like this? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me. A, uh, quote, dick, unquote. As if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoy that little moment? <laughs> ah, come on! That stuff's fun! Fun? Fun? Is tetanus fun? Hmm? Is wickets? What about Celsius, huh? Enjoy that, do we? The things you do with our body are suicidally dangerous. And if you could silence your glandular impulses, you would hear me screaming at you! Don't you want to be reunited? I thought you'd be happy to get back into my head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. Uh, I can see your point. What could I do to make this a fair compromise? If you want me back, we need to establish some ground rules. First, showers! <laughs> showers! Regular checkups. Regular, mind you, and from a reputable doctor. That Julie Farkas woman, for example, she seems to know a thing or two. Third, you need to listen to me more than your hormonal choir and genitalian orchestra. That's a Promise lot of words. That, and you've got a deal. Fine, you got a deal. I'll make sure I take a shower every day. Really? Hm. I didn't expect you to actually agree to that. I'm afraid that was a bit of a bluff, really. I'm not going with you. Ah. So what, you'd rather just stay here, never leaving that tank of whatever that stuff is? Well, certainly there might be some things I miss about being ambulatory. We have seen some incredible sights, haven't we? Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. But still, given the tremendous potentially life-ending peril that went along with those, yes, yes, I'd rather stay here. Uh, well, if you like being stuck in this so much, maybe I'll just leave you. Oh no, please don't leave me here in this nice, safe dome where I have access to nutritive fluids and a fully indexed library. Please don't deprive me of being dragged through a landscape so bleak it was actually improved by the end of the world. I don't know how I could bear it. Look what happened to the think tank. Do you want to end up like them after a few hundred years? It's true. The brains here have experienced some degree of... deterioration. I'm confident that with a few decades of work, I can solve the problem. Um... Never mind. I want to talk about something else. Of course you do. 
How scintillating. That is a long word. I have no idea what that means. Ah, uh, fine, you can stay here. Not like I need this hassle. It's also better game... It's better in the game to not have a brain, because you... You like you have better stats without him. Oh no, you don't need this hassle. You're too busy treating your body like a canvas of sucking flesh wounds to deal with your brain. Okay, then I'm going. Good, go. I will. It's fine. Great. I know it's great. <laughs> well, so long then. I'm going back to the think tank. They promised to let me out. And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Then let's go make them share. Come on, brain, it's stomping time. Oh, lovely. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. There's a lot of dialogue Tell me, talking your own brain. What exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning? I just can't. Oh, I don't even have enough melee weapon for this. Let's just say violence is the last resort of a civilized man, and I'm feeling mighty uncivilized. With an attitude like that, it's small wonder you got yourself shot in the head. Come on, we have a duty to the wasteland. We have to get out of here. Goes really, because we've been again. talking for like ten Is minutes. The dolphin rush you get from doing the right thing really that good? If the think tank won't hold up their end of the bargain, we'll make them. Let's go. <sighs> Very Let well. My headphones. I suppose I have no choice. Goodbye, peaceful, soothing brain jar. Hello, head wounds and scorpions. Now. I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso... going to do a quick mic test right now. Test. From us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. Alright, it's fine. But now that Let's I'm with you, the Sync's auto dock can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Alright, I now have my brain. I'm holding it. Is it here? Is it in? No, that's Ray's brain. I'm already holding another brain. Yeah, there it is. There's my brain. I am holding my brain. It's just in my hand. It's like, God's going by Just gotta make sure I carry it all the way back, all the way to the, the all the way to the think tank. All right, boing. Doctor Mobius is just talking to himself. Like, I made all those Robo scorpions, and I have no idea why. Okay. Ow. Alright, back to the think tank. I go up this little staircase over here. Meow. There we go. Okay. We are almost done with Old World Blues. I think I'll be wrapping up the stream in the next 10 minutes or so, maybe. We can do Lonesome Road tomorrow and finish New Vegas, finally. We have a two weeks. You require some additional services? I need to put my brain back in my body. And rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire up the old interface for you. Uh, get a haircut. Can I not... Oh, swap body parts. There it is. Oh, I can't do the brain yet. All right, never mind. Hold on. Where am I going? Can I not do the brain yet? Hey, Muggy, how you doing? No, I'm holding my brain. Why can't I? Oh yeah, I did that. I forgot I did the toasters. Do you want to like put my brain back? You up? require some addition. Oh well, guess not. Gonna save. Now let's uh, move on. Yeah, I am. Oh, they've turned on the mood lighting. This is angry lights. Like, hey, turn on the angry lights. Here he comes. Let's be angry. The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been 
Denominate it into scrap metal and voice module parts, as we hoped. Ah, uh, I found my brain. Now you and I are gonna settle things. I recommend watching your tone with me, Lobotomite. Now, your brain. <coughs> Hand it over, right. or we'll extract it again. Ah, uh, you may have noticed the pacification field is down. Guess what happens now? A fight? I, I've never been in a fight. What, uh, what, what, what do I? Ah, colleagues, think tank, alert, alert! We are under attack. Oh wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't actually want to fight them. Oh well. Never mind. I don't I really like these characters. I don't like killing them, but oh well. Alright. Klein's dead. Dala's dead. Doctor 8 is dead. Dr. Boros is dead. And where are you going? Where are you going, O? Just that all? Oh, that's so sad. Let's gang up on it, guys! Guys! Oh, this is the first time I've ever killed them. Dr. Klein. You know, I'm just taking everything. Dr. Eight. Dr. Boros. I'm over encumbered now. I probably should not have done that. Um, no, items missed. Let's just drop a whole bunch of stuff I don't need. Have all that money, all that. Alright, sorry, Muggy. I'm dropping all your uh, mugs. Carrying a lot of crap. Alright, that's everything. Alright, sorry I lit it on your floor. I feel bad. I feel really bad. I really like those characters. Like, that's actually kind of upsetting. Oh, my limbs are still broken. I uh, Maybe the doc can fix them. Maybe I don't have to waste a, do a doctor's bag. Uh, anyway, that is the end of Old World Blues. As it had been okay. in the years before the Great War, this goes for a Big very long Mountain, time. the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The Courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The courier had scoured much of the Big Empty, although secrets still remained in the crater's depths. Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same scorpions with considerably less success. These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The Biological Research uh, Station, obsessed with seeding I everything like this character. He creeps requested me out. a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. 
the book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paper clip. Oh, no. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paper clip. And the whole shoot. thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. This bloody thing. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. The scene continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the magnetohydraulics plant. Now that's and a word. Oh my God! all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. The toaster yes. continued its psychotic spree. Reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Oh. Sparking Rest in peace, and toaster. Hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy! Oh, Muggy! Collect coffee cups. Although in his quest, accidentally trapped himself in Higgs village. Watch out for Stripe. It I love that picture of him. Muggy's got all his mugs. Except he found it peaceful there, tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge. Now that's a tiny bed. Muggy's not that big. Blind Muggy's like this big. That is a small bed. Eventually discovered a new sound. Silence. It only made him more filled with the blues than before. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. Sierra Madre. In time, the Autodoc city is full of bear traps. Activate the Y17 trauma harnesses, yeah, okay, releasing good. the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subjects' movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time, until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program so in X-13 long. continued to scan for the subject and the stealth suit prototype long after the test was over. Frustrated and unable to find its lost technology, X-13 expanded its network of laser tripwires, sensors, and robo-brains out across Big Mountain. This glittering blue light beam forest cleanly bisected anything that entered its depths. Slicing them into small segmented parts for easy disposal. That's good. The courier, organs intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places, as they should be. After all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts, and the courier's brain was more clever than most. The think tank basement, filled with lobotomized robotical frames of the doctors, now served as a graveyard. I'm uh, sorry. The monitors had recorded the battle in its entirety, 
including the think tank's final shrill, terrified screams, whimpers, and pleas for mercy. They broadcast these humiliating last moments as a warning to anyone approaching the perimeter that other smarty pants were not welcome. The courier was the inheritor of the big empty, and there was room for only one will in the halls of the think tank dome. There is an expression in the wasteland, old world blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past, they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent, as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the Still future. Still going. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, Science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues, and new world hope. And hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more, but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the Big Empty one by one. The sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return. Shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained. And it was one the courier had to walk alone. That is the Lonesome Road DLC I will be doing tomorrow. Alright, so I'll heal up my limbs and I'll wrap the stream up. Ah, uh, I don't need to read all this stuff. Uh, I trust you find things in the Alright. Is that you screaming? Oh, I'm, I'm all healed up. Oh, I'm already healed. Never mind. Alright, where is the transportal ponder? There it is. This is the weapon. No, there it is. I already have it equipped. This is the weapon that allows you to go, go to Big Mountain and. Yeah, go back and forth between the Big Mountain and the Mojave Wasteland. Just like this. Alright, here we are, back in the Mojave. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk all the way over to uh, Lonesome Road. So, it's ready for tomorrow. It's right next to Prim. Didn't know it was that close. Alright, I can just switch my weapon out. Back to my shish kebab that is nearly broken. I probably should have gone back to the sink and fixed it, but oh well. It's not that far of a walk. I'll just head on over there. Are we being watched? I forgot that I was still wearing the suit. You know what? I'm leaving it on. I'm keeping the suit. I'm keeping the suit. Suit suits my new friend. Suit girl. Some uh, some medical supplies over here. Thank you. All right. Onwards. I'm I'm kind of glad I'm finishing up New Vegas tomorrow. It's uh, probably the longest amount of time I've ever streamed a game. I've only streamed this game for just over two weeks now. 15 days, two weeks yesterday. Very long game. Alright, and I want to wrap up. I wanna, what I want to do tomorrow is I want to do Lonesome Road, and I want to do the Battle of Hoover Dam, and then that'll wrap up New Vegas. I don't remember Lonesome Road being too long. But I've also only played Lonesome Road once. It's easily the DLC I play the least of. Alright, there it is. The entrance to Lonesome Road. This one looks pretty tough. I feel really bad about killing those coyotes. They're coyotes? Yep. They were just puppies. Lonesome Road! 
Alright. Nothing else behind me? No, like, enemies or anything? Nope. Alright. Yep, Courier 6. That is me. Alright, save. Save it right there. And that is where I'm going to wrap it up for today. Alright, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Oh, thank you, Jordy. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. And um, I will uh, do Lonesome Road tomorrow. Thank you so much, Jordy. Thank you. Alright, bye-bye.